Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good afternoon, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the News 8 Live Desk. Hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. The guy sitting right next to me needs no introduction, but I'm going to do my best to give him one because he deserves one. Storm teammate meteorologist Blake Carms is back on the Live Desk again. Blake, it is great to see you again. Happy that you're here with us. Um, we are obviously talking about a very important topic. Halloween is tomorrow, so anybody watching, if you haven't figured it out yet, make sure you go ahead and grab your Halloween costume and pick up some candy on the way home because trick-or-treaters are probably going to be hitting uh, your houses sometime in the very near future and that's kind of what we wanted to talk about Blake obviously there's gonna be a lot of people out tomorrow night and really maybe throughout the rest of the weekend trick-or-treating having a lot of fun and we want them to be prepared as far as the weather goes and you're the perfect person to ask kind of what we can expect should people be scared a little bit more scared than they normally would be on Halloween with the weather that they might be expecting yeah good question Phil I'd say number one the, the Halloween question is one of the top five we get asked the most is yeah. what is trick-or-treating going to be like? Good news is it's shaping up to be cooperative enough. So we are tracking temperatures that are going to be sliding through the evening, mostly cloudy skies with a slight chance of a shower. But the good news is that uh, the rain that we're expecting during the day on Halloween is going to occur almost certainly before that trick-or-treating begins. The main catalyst in this is a cold front. And as we stop temperature future casts at noon, you can see that will be pretty warm into the afternoon. Temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s as that front approaches. By the time we get to mid-evening, the front will be passed, and so that's why we're expecting to see temperatures fall uh, down to the upper 40s to lower 50s. One other key piece is that it's going to be breezy, very breezy. We're expecting wind gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour out of the west through Halloween evening, so just keep that in mind if you do have decorations or plan on heading out, that it may even feel a little cooler uh, than the actual temperature because of that breeze. The good news though, as mentioned, is that almost all the shower activity should be out. Can't entirely rule out a little bit of light drizzle, but for the most part, uh, we're gonna be rain free for the evening itself. The best chance of rain comes during the morning for us. Uh, it's also important to note that compared to last year, we're gonna be doing very well. Our average high is 54, average low 38, so we'll be above that. Uh, at least during the daytime, we are expecting rain, but thankfully we're not expecting snow this year, unlike last year where mm -hmm. uh, a lot of folks had to trudge through <laughs> snow. Muskegon had all right. for, over eight inches worth, so a lot better than that. Still feeling like fall, especially by the evening, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, very surprising and very different kind of compared to where we were last year. Uh, we just yeah. put up that graphic. People were going through the snow. I remember driving back and being like, oh, my gosh, you know, <laughs> like, what's going on here? And then today, I'm walking out to my car. Yeah. I have no frost on yeah. my windshield or anything like that. It's, you know, relatively warm. I'm sweating getting to the car almost, you know. Yeah. Very different, very surprising. I want to get into that in just a little bit. But, Blake, we you know we're obviously talking about trick-or-treating, one of the big things that is going to be mm -hmm. happening tomorrow. So, very important question. Do you have a favorite candy? Is there one that you always kind of look forward to getting in yeah. your trick-or-treat basket? I've never really got this one in my basket, but I would say Necco wafers are very <laughs> underrated. Uh, obviously, you can't go wrong with chocolate, but Necco wafers just has a special spot in my heart. So. I I, we talked a little bit about it before the stream started. I already voiced my opinion on that. Yeah. It is an, it's an interesting pick. I like the pick, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. If anybody in the comment section has ever uh, maybe also placed Necco wafers that high, please let us know. I want to <laughs> make sure Blake's not alone in this one. Um, but also kind of want to shift now, Blake, a little yeah. bit to the weekend forecast. Yeah, um, there's going to be a lot of other events, you know, with Halloween falling on a Thursday, mm -hmm. uh, people or organizers are trying to maximize, you know, do I put it before, you know, it's a little bit farther away, or yeah. do I put it after? So there are some events that are happening this weekend. For people that are going to be going out, uh, what are some of the things that they should be on, uh, kind of taking a look out for, whether it's Friday night, Saturday, yeah. or Sunday? Uh, honestly, the wet, the weekend, most of the weekend's looking pretty cooperative. I think Good. the winds are going to relax some. It will be cool, highs in the 50s, but, I mean, that's average for this time of year, considering that we are entering November on Friday. Uh, Saturday looks dry. I know there's a big game over in Ann Arbor, Michigan taking mm -hmm. on Oregon, and then in addition to all the events uh, that you've been talking about, Halloween-based events that are occurring in the upcoming weekend. We will have to watch for the potential for some rain to build in, especially later on Sunday, so the second half of the weekend bears watching, but I think Friday and Saturday both look very fall-like, uh, cool, but cooperative. Uh, with temperatures in the 50s. All right, definitely good to hear. And Blake, yeah. also wanted to touch on, like I said, wanted to get a little bit more into this, just sort of what we've been seeing recently. I mean, we're almost into November, 
and I don't know the temperature exactly out right yeah, now, but I would venture to say it's above 75. Yeah, I mean, uh, from a meteorologist standpoint, are we maybe blowing this out a little bit out of proportion, or is this something that no. you know even you guys have kind of taken notice of? And this is a little bit weird for this time it's of year. It's been a very weird fall in general, yeah. Phil. It's been very warm. I think October is going to go down as our sunniest month of the whole year which is hard to believe, yeah. uh, one of our sunniest Octobers ever. I mean, our average high this time of year is 55, and as you mentioned, we're, we're close, closing in on 80 degrees in some mm -hmm. spots yet again today. Um, the lack of rain, the warm temperatures, the sunshine are not normal here for fall, as we all know. It does look like as we enter the first week of November, as we get closer actually to Election Day, uh, we'll start to see some rain build in, maybe even some thunderstorms, and it'll be more the traditional fall weather that we have come to expect turning a little cooler with some uh, steady rains that we desperately need so enjoy the quiet weather enjoy the warm weather i should say uh today and part of tomorrow because it is going to be feeling like november come next week yeah i think some people are probably maybe excited for that i am not i'm definitely not looking <laughs> forward me. to the super cold temperatures um but yeah no it has been a little bit nice but definitely looking forward to those fall temperatures yeah. uh, coming up in just a little bit. And I do want to remind everybody that uh, we talked a lot about the trick-or-treating times and what to expect mm -hmm. maybe around those times. If you still don't know what time your city is allowing trick-or-treaters out, be sure to check out the West Michigan Guide right now over on woodtv.com. We've got all of the trick-or-treating times that you need to know. And we also have a list of some awesome events that, again, are still happening this weekend to kind of celebrate the spooky season, Halloween, all that good stuff. So again, that's all up on the West Michigan guide which you can find right now over on our website with tv.com blake thank you so much for stopping by i'm sure a lot of people appreciated uh the forecasting and just yeah. knowing what to expect hey thank you phil i'm glad to, to see that it looks mostly rain free yes, for the yes. evening itself and better yet it's going to be snow free see year. and now you don't have to carry that jacket i know growing up <laughs> that was right. the one thing i hated hearing from my mom was make sure you have your coat yes i don't want to wear my coat so i think we'll be able to get away with it exactly good yeah. to hear good to hear again blake thank you so much for stopping yeah. by and i want to thank everybody so much for tuning into this latest edition of the news 8 live desk i'm phil pinarski and we hope you have a great rest of your day